Hi guys, George from Cyprus Insight. Today I'm in Ayanepa. I'm going to visit Nelia Gardens. There's a car park area down there. I'm going to go through the other main entrance. And I think the main entrance is between the supermarket and this coffee shop. There's a supermarket, like the village, Sylvanir and supermarket. Now the beach is not too far away guys, you have to walk down this road here, turn left. Or you can go a little bit further down via Ayanapa Harbour, which is round the corner. I think we have to go through there you see. Oh no, it's down there. I thought it's down here guys, but it's not. It's just past this coffee shop. You can get to it between the coffee shop and the Sylvania supermarket but uh, we've got the official entrance this side this restaurant's offering a breakfast buffet for seven euros I think it's connected to the actual hotel as well so that uh, restaurant is part of the hotel I do believe so we're going down this road towards the entrance now is the entrance here on the right probably guys so this spot the swim pool just beyond here you see oh look at those comfortable chairs you're going to have a look let's go through this way shall we up we go look at these beautiful sun beds everywhere great big massive sun beds got big cushions everywhere look at that looks like they've got some ground floor rooms as well here guys right next to this pool lovely square pool and the kids pool next to it and then what's over there is that reception area possibly well we've got this terrace area here under cover where you can enjoy some shade they're conveniently located chairs there's a ping ball there's air hockey it's a lovely pool table there all right which way we're we going Ooh, not too sure guys let's go around here shall we Another terrace. I haven't seen the um, restaurant yet. Perhaps that's that restaurant at the front. Let's go around the back here, shall we? Looks like there's some more accommodation. Down the gentle slope. All conveniently located bench. Another gentle slope going down. I do like the slopes. Ah, oh, look at this. Yes, yeah, some more accommodation and some gardens around these particular apartments. Look, two story buildings, block 20 that one. And then we've got some more seating area in this grass. And then we've got the kids playground over there, you see. So it is a garden as such. There's even a little outdoor gym there you can swing around on. Let's go around this way, shall we? Here we are. Ah, now that's the road going round, isn't it? And that goes round to the car park, so we're surrounded by a road. See? Lovely and quiet. Right, we're back round to the swimming pool area. I like these lovely sun beds massive cushions there's the small reception area lovely and cool in there conveniently located comfortable chairs there we are just having just having a little rest at reception area because it's lovely and cool in here and chairs everywhere you can enjoy the internet here Do a bit of surfing and sit and have a rest so here's the restaurant guys at the front as I guessed it's connected to the front restaurant 
but this is for the hotel round here this is the buffet area look it's got a massive buffet over there inside and then you can sit along here I will walk through the restaurant there we are I sit here then you go out to the main road that's just the same restaurant we spotted on the way in guys offering that uh, breakfast buffet at seven euros oops i'm trapped around here i think that's better so the restaurant is also open to the public you can even have a hubble bubble if you like oh here you are right so there we are that's the hotel lovely restaurant i think good value for money isn't it guys seven euros for your breakfast buffet now we're heading towards the beach down there and the quaint little harbour we'll show you the short walk down towards the harbour so we're going to go down this road here we've just left the hotel literally a minute or two ago down here on the left there's the Atlantica Santa Napa across the road so onward we go So if you want to go to the beach directly guys, you just a short walk down in that direction. Okay, maybe two or three minutes stroll. Well, we're going straight towards the harbour. It's one of these quad bikey places you can rent these quad bike machines from. Is that an ice cream shop or supermarket? Oh no, it's a supermarket. I thought it was an ice cream shop. Okay guys, so we've been walking for about three or four minutes, that's all. Well, you could rent one of these couldn't you guys there's quite a few around now these little tricycles with a seat there we are. i think they're 10 euros for two hours now they're advertising the boat trips out here guys there they are and you can go down to the harbour and pick up a boat trip plenty of boat trips to pick from right let's go across the zebra crossing there we are I don't think he should be parked there never mind right and here we are the entrance to the harbour now you can get to the beach from here guys as well there's the beach just here on the left you see there you can see the beach umbrellas so I think that was around a five minute stroll to the beach not too far at all so this area's got all the restaurants you could possibly want look there's the ocean basket there's another one over there there's loads down here if you go down into the harbour a little bit turn right loads of pubs and restaurants lots of places to enjoy oh what's that coming up looks like some sort of uh, unusual boat anyway so there we are just a five minute stroll to the beach and the lovely harbour don't forget to like and subscribe and if there's somewhere you'd like me to go put it in the comments below